Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Today I will be doing a bacon and lobster mac and cheese And I'm going to show you guys the ingredients Today we will need four lobster tails Some parsley Heavy cream Cajun seasoning All-purpose flour Minced garlic Olive oil, Kobe Jack cheese, Parmesan cheese, Gris shredded cheese, how do you say it? Swish and Gris shredded cheese. I'm going to need uh, unsalted butter, sharp cheddar cheese, milk, whole milk, eggs, large eggs. Some breadcrumbs, bacon, paprika, Kanye pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and parsley. And I have some noodles here. I'm going to use these kind of noodles. But you can use any noodles that you choose. The noodles that we're really trying to get, they didn't have them. I couldn't find them anyway. So other than that, let's get into this video. So I am definitely starting this meal. So first off, I will need a teaspoon of olive oil and two teaspoons of minced garlic, which I already have prepared. I try to get everything together, put it in here. Mm -hmm. Trying to be prepared, y'all. Trying to be prepared. I'm gonna actually add the lobster. I'm gonna add. 10 tablespoons of butter. You can add this whenever you want, like before or after the process, but I'm just winging it, guys. 10 tablespoons of unsalted butter. And I'm melting it in the lobster tail. I actually had, um, Four lobster tails, but if you want to, you know, make more, you have a bigger party, whatever, you can definitely use more lobster tails. But it's just for me and my family, we didn't eat that many. My bacon is actually cooking in the air fryer. So I'm gonna just let that cook. Simmer is. Um, like a medium low so let this cook garlic everything in it now I'm going to add the noodles to the boiling water that I have ready Let that cook. For eight to 10 minutes. Now look, we're only letting the uh, lobster cook for about three minutes. And we're gonna let it sit to the side with the butter everything in it because once the noodles get done, then we're gonna start adding more ingredients. So the macaroni noodles have cooked for 10 minutes and I am going to dump them with the lobster and the butter, the sauce I made from before. Mix it around in there, a little bit, a little bit, mix it all around. 
Because remember, it's going to cook in the oven, guys. So. Next step. I'm going to add two eggs. Two large eggs. And I'm also going to add, Max, mix that around a little bit. Let it cook. So I have two, two and one fourth cups of heavy cream, two and one fourth cups of whole milk. Start adding that to it. See? Put all that in there. All of it goes in there, guys. Stir it. And I'm also going to add my seasonings. I have half a teaspoon of paprika. One fourth tablespoon teaspoon of um, Kanye pepper. I have one and a half teaspoons of onion powder. One and one fourth teaspoons of garlic powder. And that is it. This for the seasons I have in here. And the flour, of course. I had to add some flour to this. So that's a half a cup of flour added to this seasoning. They're all mixed together all mixed together and I'm going to mix it all in here and the flour actually adds it like make it like a gravy so everything it's going to be so delicious guys Cooking up now. I have cheeses that I have to add. I have one and one half cup of shredded sharp cheese, one and one half cup of Kobe Jack cheese, one and one half cup of shredded gyri, gruri. However, you say it, I'll put that up in the so you guys can see it. How you spell it? What's the name of it? Two third cups of shredded Parmesan cheese. And I just add this in slowly. It's all mixed in here. I just add it all together. And just start and mix it all together. And start adding it slowly and stirring it in. Because remember, this got to go in the oven. We're going to bake it on 450 degrees. Mix all that extra cheese in there. And we're going to add the bacon as well. Some inside of here and we're going to add some of the bacon to the top. And I'm going to add all my cheese. In here. But I'm going to save some of it. Like most of it. I'm going to save some of it and add it to the top of the pan. The dish. Okay. Look how cheesy that is. You see, I added the bacon and the lobster. Another, I actually made enough lobster to add it to the top of it. Now I'm going to add some cheese, some more cheese. Remember I told you I was saving cheese to add to the top of it. Gonna be so good, guys. I'm 
Remember my oven is on 450 preheating. And I'm gonna add some breadcrumbs to the top of everything. And once everything's done, I will show you guys. Until then, get right back to you. Guys, here's the end result. Bacon and lobster mac and cheese. Mm -mm -mm. Hey guys, so I am done this recipe for my subscribers that have been here and for the new subscribers. Thanks for watching as always. And I wanted to show you what happened to this. Like, it's already gone. It, was, it ran through it. Like, look at it. I'll show you close-ups. Different angles. They killed it. They killed the bacon and lobster mac and cheese. They killed it. Demolished it. Half of the pan is already gone. I killed it. I'm not even going to lie, y'all. I, I ate it too, y'all. I ate some too. So, anyway... Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on those post notifications so you know when our next video will be uploaded. You know baby girl had to jump in and tell y'all her little piece, so. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. See y'all. Life in a world that keeps changing. Think that it's progress you're making. Copy and paste pretty faces all the time.